Today we're going to take a look at Crayola Artist Colored Pencils. So if you're interested in these, keep watching. Alright guys, so we are continuing our little Crayola binge with the Crayola Artist Colored Pencils. This is a 24 pack of colored pencils in a metal tin. Promises smooth, vibrant colors, perfect for blending and shading. And they are non-toxic. Says Crayola Artist Color Pencils are perfect tools for your creative coloring projects. The velvety soft gel cores provide a color rich, smooth, wait, yeah, a color rich, smooth lay down. Excellent for blending, shading, and adding detail to any work of art. And then they have two examples. They have a on white paper and on black paper. The colors inside are red, red orange, orange, yellow orange, yellow goldenrod, yellow green, green, jade green, robin's egg blue, sky blue, light blue, blue, violet, purple, magenta, pink, peach, tan, light brown, brown, mahogany, gray, black, and white. So inside is a beautiful metal tin. It looks like it was printed using dye sublimation printing. And we're gonna be swatching on two different types of paper today. We've got white watercolor paper. We're using Strathmore because it's got a bit of a texture. And I've also got some black paper so we can test how well this works on black paper as well. And I have a feeling that is really a beautiful tin. Um, I have a feeling these are intended for those adult artists who are interested. Ooh, those are actually kind of pretty. Those adult artists who are interested in adult coloring books. So they're trying to cater to that market. Now, one of the problems with this tin already is it's a hinge tin. So I can't take the top off and put it underneath. It keeps the, the lid on, but uh, as an artist with limited space, that's not so great. So... The pencils themselves look rather classy. Silver printing or silver embossing on a matte black body with a shiny tip of the color. And these remind me of the Spectrum Noir um, color pencils. And I don't think I've actually reviewed those on this channel. I have them and I think I did the review. It might be over at natosoup.blogspot.com. Um, and if not, let me know in the comments and I will go ahead and do a brief review of them. But they're not bad. It says the color name in three different colors. Robin's egg blue, azul turquoise claro, blue oeuf de merle. And I apologize, both my Spanish and my French is terrible. So we're gonna go ahead and swatch these. You guys have seen me use Crayolas in the past in, um, couple of my other videos and I want to get these swatched because I am heading to Louisiana soon and whenever I go to Louisiana I always get a huge yen for re returning to all the indulgences of my youth which means Crayola products. Now I'm going to skip the white on white paper and I'll skip the black on black paper and we'll zoom it zoom in. All right, these are actually much softer, a little more velvety than regular Crayola color pencils, so they are not bad. I'm going to swatch all of them in time lapse and then we'll try blending with these. So that is all 24 of the artist colored pencils. Um, for the most part, they swatched very buttery on this textured paper. I wasn't trying to push particularly hard. I wasn't trying to get it so that you don't see any speckles of the paper, but there's still good coverage. The only color that was a little bit weird was this olive green color. Oh no, that's jade. I'm sorry. So next we have a black paper sketchbook and I use that for exactly this purpose in fact. 
testing out opaque materials. So, we're going to do the same thing with this black paper that we did on the white paper, except we're not going to swatch black. So, we're going to start with white. And this paper has far less, ooh, <laughs> it's already pretty nice. That's good, that's good. Um, has far less texture than the other one, but it already you can get cool result. Now, here's the thing. Before I swatch the rest, I'm gonna do this in time lapse. Most color pencils will go down fairly opaque on your paper. That's just the truth. Uh, Prismacolors will, in fact, I had a whole project in undergrad in one of my drawing classes where we went over um, black and white photography that we put collaged together with color pencils and uh, the majority of what we were working over was coloring over black. You can definitely work on black with most color pencils. In fact, not to confuse, but just to demonstrate, I have here a Kohenor Hard Muth Tritone. Um, as you can see, it still goes down. Okay. Um, and I can bring this with me when I go to Louisiana and I can swatch the Prismacolors I have there and the regular Crayolas that I have there to demonstrate that for you guys if that's something you guys find hard to believe. But the fact that it will go down opaque on black paper, it's cool. It's a nice effect. It's not that they were bragging about it. They were in fact just demonstrating that you could do that, which is something a lot of artists don't necessarily know. But you can do that with pretty much any brand of color pencil. These are going down really buttery. These would be a lot of fun on uh, darker colored papers, like colored cardstock. It doesn't have to be black. Um, so don't take me pointing that out as like a slam. It's not like they were bragging about it. Like the only color pencil to work on black paper. But most brands will go down opaque on, on colored paper. So maybe that's something you should try out. You could make some really cool stuff with that. So I am going to continue swatching these in time lapse on the black paper. So on Amazon, the 24 piece set is $17.76 with prime shipping. You can also, I think you can get, can you get in a bigger one? No, it doesn't look like you can. Okay. Um, I know I've seen these for less, but I did order mine off of Amazon because I never leave the house. So, um, <laughs> so I guess 1776 is the best you can do for pricing these, at least for right now. Let's see what a 24 pack of Prismacolor is. And I'm not saying that Prismacolor is preferable. So a 24 account on Amazon is $7.59. And I know a lot of people think of Prismacolor as sort of the end all be all. Um, so for me, Personally, I like these a lot better than the regular Crayolas. If you see them at your Walmart, if you see them at your Michaels, at Target, um, and they're, see, I originally saw the uh, brush markers for like $14, which was not a bad deal. If you see these for around $14, that's not a bad deal. Um, they handle a lot nicer than the regular Crayola colored pencils. They are a lot softer. The colors are more intense and vivid and they feel more like professional color pencils, which is phenomenal considering it's Crayola. Um, uh, the tin is also really nice. I do wish you could hook the back. The design of the pencils is nice. I haven't tried sharpening any. They might have the Prismacolor Curse where you put them in a sharpener and the lead snaps like that. Um, honestly, they kind of remind me of using Polychromos, uh, which are really nice color pencils. Um, and I have some of those in Luling so I can compare them directly against the ones in Luling or against Polychromos once I get there. Um, and let you guys know. Now, all of this set, I'm not super really a color pencil person. I used to use color pencils a lot, but I use watercolor and alcohol markers more so now. So 
if somebody who, oh, that's interesting, attached to the lid is a protective sheet. That's cool. Um, if someone who is more familiar and is a fine artist, like Lacry Fine Art, were to say um, that they like these, then I would definitely go for it because they use color pencils all the time and they really know what they're talking about. Um, that said, I would probably get them for my kids. And as someone who has used Polychromos, Karen Dosh Pablo, loads of inexpensive color pencils like Crayola, like the Spectrum Noir, um, I would say these are really pretty good. And I would rather give my kid, my artist kid, these than the Prismacolors because Prismacolors have changed brands. Their quality has gone down immensely. They're not as buttery. They're not as soft. They're not as easy to blend as um, they used to be. So these are actually pretty good. And uh, Crayola, anytime you want to do that comic artist slash manga illustrator pair up, y'all hit me up. So <laughs> blatant, terrible plug, but I like them. And uh, if you've got a kid or you, if you are interested in these color pencils for your coloring books or for your coloring projects, I would recommend them. Um, if you're a crafter and you're looking for good, inexpensive uh, color pencils that you can get probably just about anywhere, I'd recommend them. The case is beautiful. The color pencils themselves are beautiful. The colors are beautiful, so you can't go wrong with that. Can you replace the colors as they die? Probably not. Um, Crayola does sell some of their watercolors now. Not that their watercolors are so great, but they do sell some of their watercolors now in like three packs so you can refill the color. So maybe they will do that with these if they get popular enough at some point. And I think this particular type, there's actually another type, the signature blend and shade colored pencils, which are literally on my lap. I am going to review those next. Um, those are available in a larger set, but I think the artist color pencils are only available in 24 colors, but maybe if they do well, um, they will increase the line. So I really never thought I would be recommending Crayola color pencils over Prismacolor. And I guess that's my gotcha line for this video, but here I am recommending the Crayola Artist Color Pencils over Prismacolor Color Pencils. So if you are on the market, in the market, on the prowl, on the look for colored pencils, these might be the ones for you, especially if you just wanna pick up a secondary set just to noodle around with. So thank you guys so much for watching. Check out my other Crayola signature video where we review their brush markers and keep an eye out for the upcoming blend and shade color pencil review. Whoa, did not mean to do that. So have a nice day guys. I will probably have a tutorial or two using these color pencils in the near future. Bye guys. So we have here a brand new, never before opened tin of Crayola Signature Blend and Shade Colored Pencils. Velvety soft cores for rich colors on light or dark paper. 24 color pencils, decorative tin, non-toxic. These are the proposed colors, which it just seems like a very standard 24 color set. These are the same colors that came in my artist, Crayola Artist Color Pencil set. Crayola Signature Blend and Shade Colored Pencils. Crayola Signature Blend... Y'all. Y'all, I Googled this. Y'all, I Googled this. And these are the same color pencils. <laughs> so they're the same. They're the same. They're the same. They are the same and they're rebranded and Amazon did not tell me otherwise. And they're the same. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do to make up for my stupidity. This pack never before opened, has different art on the tin, has this beautiful sunny illustration on the tin. I'm gonna give this pack away. I'm gonna give this pack to a deserving home. I am gonna rehome this pack. I am gonna hold the contest, so check the description. I'm gonna do it on Rafflecopter. 
I will bet you it is probably going to be a comments based thing where you should tell me what you would do with these color pencils. I am giving priority to people who want to use these for illustration or for comics because I am a comic artist and an illustrator. That is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to tack this on to the end of this video. So if you're on the market for colored pencils, these are the same. These are the same. These are the same. Artist color pencils, the same as these. Good color pencils. They were easy on the hands. Let me see. I guess there's like more of them out now, now that I'm on old Amazon. Yeah. So there is a larger pack of the blend in shades. Uh, come on, tell me how many are in here. 50. There's a 50 pack going for 34.57. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is why I record these videos so you guys don't make the same dumb mistakes I do. And while I've got you, I have been told, rumor has it on the grapevine that Crayola Color Escapes color pencils are exactly the same as the normal Crayola color pencils. They are not these, they are just rebranded for adults. Uh Crayola color pencils. So if you're looking for decent, nice color pencils, kind of on a budget, these are the ones. So I'm going to give these away. Check the description below.